No, I have not been to Fort Morgan. I know little of cities. I am a trapper, living alone mostly in these last years, but I would descend into town every so often with my pelts. Uh, sell them and talk. Keep my hand in talk. You gotta keep your hand in talking, even if you live in the wild. In town, I would talk to them was interested. Saloon, mostly, until they asked me to take my business elsewhere. What kind of sense that makes. There was only the one saloon. Keeper called me tedious. Tedious. Me. If tithings from the greater world are tedious, I would descend from the mountains not having talked for many months with much to tell. Much to tell having stored considerable. Though for many years I did not live alone in the wild, I did have a consort, a stout woman of the hunk Papa Sue. We had a companionship of sorts, but that's neither here nor there. A life together marked by the passing of the seasons and the corresponding travels of game. In the latter, she took very little interest. Well, her duties was domestic. I would track and trap, and she would tarry hearthside. We did not talk. She had no English, and I am not schooled in the gibberings of the nations. Well, I say we did not talk, but sometimes we would. Often at length, each in our own tongue, without benefit of understanding the other, but the sound of the human voice is a comfort. When you're cabined up in the woods, and all otherwise it'd be, but the murmur of wind and the plop of snow from an overloaded branch. Well, I said not understanding each other, but twarn't entirely so. I could often read by means of the tenor of her speech and certain facial expressions, the emotional import of what she was saying, and she was often vexed with me. I seldom knew why. And then she moved on.